Hi everybody, Dr. Brent Talley, Daniel, MD. I'm a neurologist and headache doctor. And I've written a big textbook on migraines, about 400 pages, with 900 references and a smaller book. I'm also a blogger. Now, I've got an article on my webpage about the question, does Amavig, it's one of the new drugs, help migraine? And that'll be the topic of this discussion today. So first I want to talk about the migraine process. I'm going to show you a picture of what I call the migraine timing cycle. So what we got here is down at the bottom there, trigeminal activation by the brain stem. And then 20, 40 minutes, you get to two, which is neuropeptide release of these neurochemicals, neurokinin A, substance P, and CGRP. Now the drug we're talking about blocks CGRP. And then at stage Three, the arteries dilate, and it's about two hours in the migraine. And stage four, central pain comes on, and the thalamus, a deep nucleus inside the brain, is turned on and inflames the brain. So migraine is a chemical inflammatory condition. And for acute therapy for migraine, if you take a trip to the onset of headache, they're usually within 24 minutes, headache starts, they're usually gone within two hours in about 80% of patients. Okay, so we've now got a drug that blocks the release of this neurochemical CGRP, which I just showed you, which is the ganglia of the nerve in the artery in the brain. So, does Amavig help migraine? Yes. In May of 2018, the FDA approved this drug for preventive therapy for migraine. It's the first new drug like this that's come along, and since then there have been two other drugs that have come out that are similar. It's a novel drug in the fact that it really does something inside the migraine process, blocking this neurochemical, which no other preventive drugs have really done or can do. The drug is given uh, subcutaneously as a little shot in the anterior thigh or in the um, shoulder. Um, it can be done by the patient themselves. And patients who feel they don't want to take shots or they're needle phobic, I tell them, <clears throat> Insulin requiring diabetics have to give shots like that four times a day all their life. So, first question would be Does Amavig interact with other drugs you're going to give? Like if you're taking a drug for your blood pressure or for your bowels or something like that, does it interact? Because most drugs interact with other drugs. And if you look at the FDA listing of the drugs, they'll have a list of contraindications or drugs they'll react with. So like penicillin, I use an example of this, was invented by Fleming because a little uh, bacteria landed on, antibacteria, bacteria landed on his petri dish and his penicillin mold came in there and started killing all the little bugs around there, the, um, the, the mold. And he knew he had something then that was later made into penicillin. The penicillin itself, when it came out now, has about 10 drugs you can't take with it. So... Does Amavig have any drug indications? No. This drug is made by DNA polymerization. It's a new way of making drugs injected in the body. So I've never heard of or worked with a drug, and I've been in medicine about 50 years, that had no indications or side effects, so not contraindications. The side effects are very mild. The side effects are mild hypersensitivity reaction, which some people can have, and then you have to quit the drug. It's very rare to have that. The common side effects you can have are injection sites reactions, like a little bruise on your leg, like when you have blood drawn in your arm, get your lab drawn. It's just a tiny little bruise that goes away. It's called an injection site reaction. Some patients, about 3%, have constipation, which gets better with time, and some patients may have muscle cramps. But um, the side effects are really mild, completely compared to the other drugs we've had for treating migraine. I'll talk about that in a minute. What are the benefits from using the drug? Well, about half of patients who take this shot, subcutaneous injection, once a month, will have 50% reduction in migraine. Wow. The best we've had with preventive drugs like Topamax, Depakote, or Enderol, Amitriptyline are about 30% reduction. <clears throat> so half patients get 50% reduction in migraine, another 25% of patients get 75% reduction, and another 25% of patients get 100% reduction in migraine. It's astounding. I've been doing a headache over 40 years. <clears throat> patients come in the office on this drug, and they haven't had a headache. 
Well, I've never seen anything like this. Those drugs can be amazing, really. So they are astounding results for the migraine therapy. All right, so the other older drugs, amitriptyline, their side effects are weight gain, can make you have morning drowsiness, can wake up and get out of bed, it can make you constipated. Those are the main bad side effects. Topiramate has the notorious problem of making you <clears throat> have trouble with cognitive or word finding difficulties so that in the lay language, Topamax has been called Dopamax because people can think on it. And that's a dose-related problem. If you lower the dose, sometimes it'll get better. It can also make you have tingling lips and fingers and Coca-Cola takes flat. Depakote, or valproic acid, is a drug that has a contraindication for fertile women. It should never be given anybody who conceivably can be pregnant because it can form a, a malformed baby. It's called teratogenic effect. It can also have tremor, weight gain, and problems like that. Beta blockers also work well. We're talking about propranolol and atenolol, but they can cause a tired syndrome. They can slow down your heart rate. Um, so, to not have very severe side effects in comparison, these new CGRP drugs work really well. <coughs> My understanding was that four years before 2018, so starting in 2014, they allowed patients who took the CGRP drug, Amavig, to stay on their older preventive drugs, which most patients will stop. You know, sixty percent of patients are off of, it, off of the drugs in six months, but no one had any big problem staying on this new CGRP drug. So the ability to stay on the drug is remarkable and well. All right. CGRP drugs don't, don't have any contraindication like trypsins can have with heart disease or coronary disease. So how does the drug come out? It came out subcutaneously, a 70 milligram injection. And doctors are supposed to start on that first. And if they don't get better in three to four months, you can go to a 140 milligram shot they have. It's been approved at both doses, but we're supposed to start at 70 milligrams first. And so what kind of injector to use for Amavig? It comes in a, what's called a sure click, little simple injector, which you put on your leg and it's a little click. And then the injection will proceed from that point on. It takes about 15, 20 seconds. And then it'll click again. You take it off your leg and a little alcohol sponge. Throw it away. Um, it has a hidden needle. And the medicine should be refrigerated at 46 to 36 degrees in the refrigerator. If you're supposed to take it out 30 minutes before you get the shot because it doesn't hurt so much and it goes well that way. So that's an indication, that's the end of my talk on this. And let me tell you that these drugs have been very effective and powerful for treating migraine. And God bless all you people with migraine. Um, and come see me on my blog at www.drmigraine.com. I've got articles on there on migraine, which hopefully will help. All right, bye.